Rhymebill is now online. Hey guys and girls, I'm going to show you how to get and display the date and time using JavaScript. Let's go. All right, so right off the bat, in my head tag, I'm using Google Fonts. And down below, I got a container containing all my text. Below all that, I have a style tag, which is basically simple CSS. So the first thing we're going to do is to create an array with all the months in it. And down below, we're going to create another array with all the days of the week in it. This is useful because our date only returns the index, which is 0, 1, 2, 3. We're going to use these arrays to match it up to real words. Great, so now we're going to declare a variable, call it date data. This data is going to be to a class, which is called date. And this comes along with JavaScript, so don't worry about creating any function for this. Let's go ahead and get the date. We're going to set current day is equal to date data dot get day. As simple as that. And now we're going to set our h1 tag to our current day. Remember, we're going to use the arrays we made earlier on to display your words. Awesome. So it displays Tuesday, and that's because today is Tuesday. <laughs> Let's go back to our code and continue. Now we're going to go ahead and get the current month, current date, and current year. Go ahead and display this in our h2 tag. The first way I'm going to do this is where we use a plus sign to add up all our values in a string. This is a longer method, but let's try it. All right, and as you can see, it displays our text. But actually, we're going to scrap this all and I'm going to show you a different way of doing this. We're going to use special quotes and here you'll be able to insert the variables right into the string. Awesome. And as you can see, it works and it was pretty easy. So let's get the time. To get the time, we're going to have to get the hours. And then we're going to get the minutes and also note the hours go 12, 13, 14 and so on. So that way you can tell if it's AM or PM, but that doesn't matter. We're still going to have an AM or PM beside our time. Just an added bonus to make it cooler. All right, so let's get on with our if statement. What we're going to say is if our current hour is greater than 12 or equal to 12. So in other words, if it's past 12 o'clock, then it's PM. But if it's less than 12 o'clock, then it's AM. And that's it. <laughs> and that's it, guys. That's how to get and display the date and time using JavaScript. Until next time, rhyme below.